this video, perhaps my new favorite, it involves standards. Okay, so that's kind of been an issue for you in Schoology. This is the video to watch. First, before we get started, can we take a minute and appreciate uh, this clickable banner I made for my courses? Super proud of it. I just updated it. But this video's topic um, is something that I saw mentioned in a group that I'm in, and I really had to check it out for myself. So <clears throat> let's start by adding an assignment. All right, I have a first year co-teacher and I've been working uh, to try to teach all the ins and outs. And one of those things is learning objectives. So I can align a learning objective. So a lot of times um, our lessons are gonna involve Common Core. So I can go in here and we're science. So I'm gonna scroll past grade seven, which is what I'm focusing on right now. And I'm going to go six to eight um, science, all right? Then I'm going to open this up and say, okay, so we have this standard. Now I learned this um, the hard way. I do not have to stop here and add learning objectives. I can backtrack up through this clickable um, sort of organization up here. So I can go back to where I just was and say, well, it wasn't just this. There was something in craft and structure, which was here. Okay. I can backtrack back to here if that's what I wanted, but I'm going to go back to the beginning to learning objectives and go into next generation science standards. Okay. And I need to get um, middle school life science. Okay. And we're in human body. So we're in here. Okay. So um, we can choose a few right here. And Notice I have six selected. I could continue adding if I um, so chose, but I'm going to stop here and add learning objectives. And you say, great, what the heck did that do? Well, so scroll down a little. You could see all six. So if you clicked one by mistake, easy enough, just exit out, get rid of it. Okay, but there we go. There are my standards aligned. I could complete the assignment. Beautiful. Okay, however, notice it was still a lot of clicking around. So there is sort of um, a shortcut, so I'm gonna show you. So let's cancel building that assignment, okay? And instead, I'm gonna go to resources in Schoology. And right here, I have learning objectives, okay? So I've made some, let's make another folder, okay? I like to make my folders by units, okay? So let's do, oops. Topic three, let's do that one, okay, for seventh grade. So here's my district site. Let's get um, this reproduction and growth document. Now, I obviously already have a file of this on my computer. I just wanted to show you the process of how I get it. And I'm going to copy and paste this. So just copy it. And let's go back to um, Schoology and let's paste that document in the, that description right in there. So now I have built a topic three. All right, so let's go in the topic three folder and I want to add standards. Okay, but I don't wanna search through the whole list this time. I wanna make it easier. So I'm gonna to go to this um, pacing document and I'm gonna see, look, so here I have this standard right here. So I'm gonna copy the name of this standard and I'm going to go back to Schoology. I'm gonna paste that in there and search. I could just press enter, but let's do it this way. And at first it looks like it doesn't come up, but you just scroll down a little bit and you can see here it is. Okay, now, here we go. MS, this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna select this one. Now remember, don't click add learning objective. I'm gonna add the next one. And all it is is LS1-5. So I don't have to change the whole thing, just literally change this to five. Okay, and then I'm gonna scroll down, looking for that. Okay, there we go, there it is. And then what was the last standard? LS3-2, so leave the that and just change this to 3-2, okay? And, and I have to enter or click search. Again, it looks like it's not there at first, um, but there we go, there it is. Okay, so that's beautiful, all right? Um, and those three are added. And let's go back here and say I wanna add in those common core standards. 
okay? Because I don't know, I might use one of them or more of them in a lesson. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to add all of the standards. So I'm going to go back here in craft and structure, add those in integration of knowledge and ideas, add those, and then go back to range and add those. Now see, I have, and then I'm going to, I have all 12 selected. I'm going to add those learning objectives. Okay, so here are my science specific, and then I have Common Core all in the same folder, ready to be added. Now, the nice thing is, is you could select all the Common Core ones and just copy it each time instead of pulling them up. But once you have the folder, it's easy. So what's the point? So why did I even bother doing that? So let me go back to my assignment. So here I am, I'm adding my assignment. And again, I want to align learning objectives. I want to add the standards to this assignment. So I want to align. But now instead of searching, okay, I'm going to go to custom learning objectives. I'm going to open personal. And this is everything I personally built. And I'm going to go to topic three, which is what I was working on. And I say this lesson specifically addressed this science standard. And we have these two common core standards align learning objectives and there they are okay so brilliant such a shortcut such a time saver okay you can make your folders now it might be a little time consuming in the beginning to build those folders and resources but once you have those folders it makes aligning in any lesson so easy um, what i also will point out is that in if I go back to custom learning objectives, if you're in a group that has um, standards, you can use them from there. If you are in your school, within your school, build them. You can um, see them there as well. So it could be a time saver if, so not everyone has to build the same thing, okay? But anyway, adding learning objectives this way, so much easier and so much less clicking.